An 18-year-old man is using an unusual defense against charges that he fondled a 15-year-old girl. He says it's not his fault that he doesn't remember a thing because of a sleep disorder. Eyewitness News reporter David McAnally has the controversial criminal defense and whether it will hold up in court. He's here at the Monroe County Jail, locked up on a sexual battery charge. But 18-year-old Andrew Passwater tells police a medical condition is behind his alleged groping of a 15-year-old during a spring break sleepover as she slept on a couch. Bloomington police say Passwater claims he has sexomnia, identified as a sleep disorder. Police say Passwater came here to police headquarters said that he'd heard the 15-year-old had filed a complaint. He said because of his medical condition, he didn't remember what happened. He said the diagnosis was made by a psychologist who is now dead. In this college town, ask some folks on the street about it. Oh, do you go have sex in your sleep? Like sleepwalking, but you're having sex? That okay. was, that's his defense. Okay. Uh, was he like sleeping or like... He says he, he was. Claims? Okay, um, I'm not sure. I think it's pretty creepy, honestly. I've never really heard of that. So I'm not really sure if that's a... Valid defense or not. According to research, sex crime suspects are using it as a defense. There are scholarly articles online, and it's appeared in movies and TV shows, too. Actually, sexomnia is a recognized defense here in Indiana. It's also called automatism. Uh, it's basically the sleepwalking defense. Indianapolis defense attorney Jack Crawford is not involved in the Bloomington case. He says sexomnia is a difficult defense. One of the things they will look to is whether or not this defendant has committed these sleepwalking acts in the past. Uh, do his parents know that he would get up in the middle of the night and do odd behavior? Uh, has he committed any criminal acts in the past while he was asleep? The law basically provides you've got to know what you were doing at the time you did it. It's a stretch, and the defense is going to have to put on one heck of a case, but it's possible. Crawford says even though the suspect psychologist is dead, he could still bring in another medical expert to review his file and to make his case in court, but he's got to convince a jury, John. Yeah, interesting. Thank you, David McAnally, reporting tonight.